Alright guys, today, as promised, fun summer nail art. Ta-da! So, this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you an easy way to do all five of these. Smoke nails, flames. You know it's easy if I could do it because I can hand paint. Just some fun uh, stuff with neon pigments. Um, this all can be done with these pigments here. I got some neon ones from Amazon. And I also got some mica powder. The neon ones are super cheap, so, you know, it's within everybody's budget. You can do cool nail art stuff. You don't need to have a ton of gel polish. So, what you are going to need, base coat and top coat. Uh, the base coat is just in case your gel polish dries, cures without a sticky layer, like my white did for whatever reason. Um, I have some builder in a bottle that I'm using for, for this one, and I'll explain why, but you can also use top coat for this. Uh, you want your white or any light color gel polish and your dark for the smoke nails and the flames. Um, I'm using black. So you want something to lay your white and black gel polish on so you can pick it up with a brush. Uh, you want something with just a tiny bit of liquid in it for the smoke. I'm going to show you two different ways to do the smoke nails. One of them, you just need black and white polish. The other one, you want just a little bit of liquid um, to put white gel polish in. And you want something to mix up that top coat and white polish or the uh, builder in a bottle and gel polish, uh, just a drop or two. You only need like a drop for this. So, and brushes, you're gonna need brushes. Uh, you want something to dust the pigment off. You see that I love my bulldogs? Look at that, you love it? You do. Okay, um, <laughs> you're gonna want liner brushes like so. Um, you're going to want a couple of just, you know, square gel, whatever brush art brushes so you can pick up gel polish with them. Um, you're going to want something to something kind of fluffy, but not too big to pick up the pigment with because you don't want to cover the whole nail. You want to be able to, you know, and you want something to clean your brush off in the middle in between colors so your colors don't get all muddy. I like to use the lids for my color because sticking them in the little jars it just seems to get too much pigment on it. Um, also, I keep them in this little box that I got from Dollar Tree because I drop them every time I try to open them. So it's easier just to keep them in there, unscrew them, and then the colors don't get all mixed up the way this one did. Uh, so, okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna do the smoke nail, and I'm going to show you the two different ways to do that, okay? So, first way, you can just go over it with your dark gel polish, whatever color that may be. Um, just do your last layer. Ooh, okay, you know what? Let me just move that real quick. Okay. So you wanna lay this layer down and it's mostly, it's not really for coverage. This is so that when you put the white down, it's even and you don't have that lump, which totally up to you, you don't have to. It's not strictly necessary. I, I, that lump bothers me. Do you know what I'm talking about? That little, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so you're gonna put your dark polish down. You are going to take one of these art brushes, right? Now, the first way you can do this is to pick up some white, kind of like you're gonna marble. You wanna pick up some white, pick up a little black. I didn't pick up enough black, so you want to pick up a little bit more black, okay? <laughs> then you are going to kind of pull the polish off of the brush. And since there's already that black down there, it's going to kind of swirl. Use however much you need. Don't use your brush out of the bottle of polish because you are going to get the black and white mixed up. You see how we got that kind of marble effect and then you are going to cure that and see we don't have a lump yay sorry about that guys all my lights turned off <laughs> okay so the, i dropped my little thingy with my my little thing with the liquid okay so the other way kind of like you know the weird dippy marble nails you want to take something with just a little bit of liquid in it take your white polish and get a drop in there if it'll come off your brush
and you want to kind of see how you can kind of grab it with the brush well so you want to pick that up and same thing you're just going to lay it down kind of pull it off of the brush and the liquid is supposed to help give it that smoke effect like so which I don't personally like that way. I don't like it. It's weird and it looks weird and I don't like it. But you can. That's one way. It seems to work better for me with the two, with, you know, a wet layer and then that. We're going to throw that away. Consider that one a fail. Okay. <laughs> now you're going to take your little brush and you're going to start picking out your colors. Let's see. We're doing smoke, so let's go cool. Let's use a little blue, maybe. Yes little blue and you're just going to push and make sure you're pushing down on it clean off your brush in the middle let's see what else what else let's do a little green see a lot comes off a lot gets on the brush so you don't want too much <laughs> kind of blow it off in between or whatever you know and then let's do a little pink like I said, you want to push that down onto there. Okay. Take your brush, dust it off. And then you are going to top coat. Where's my top coat? There we go. No, that's matte. That's not right. And you can kind of see it on the black, but it's not super visible. Another way you can do this is to, once it's cured, Take a little bit of base coat and just go over the white part and cure it. And that way you don't get that little bleed over pigment. But most of it goes away when you top coat, like so. And then we cure. Pretty cute, right? All right, let's check out this other monster in here. I swear, I gotta get closer. I gotta get a lamp that is just open. I don't know. See, I don't really care for that. It kinda, eh, whatever. We're still gonna do it. <laughs> let's do purple. Yeah, let's do purple. Ooh, and then this lighter one right here. I don't know what this is. It's like a pinkish purple. Smush that down. And that's the mica powder. And then what else? Mm. Oh, that's way too much. And then pink. All right. Let's see how that one turned out. Yeah, see, I don't like that at all. <laughs> then again, I didn't try very hard on this one. Top coat. And the top coat seems to, you wanna make sure you're wiping your brush off in, in between so you're not getting any pigment in your top coat and whatnot. See, yeah, I don't like this method. I, I suggest you do it the other way. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I think that part was a little too sticky. All right. So here is our finished product. One of them. I really like that. Smoke nails are so fun and they're so easy. All right, so let's set that off to the side. Next, we are going to do the flame nail. Actually, let's pop that off of there and put our flame nail back on. Ooh, sticky tack, right? Okay, so now for this one, you're gonna need white gel polish and a liner brush. Super easy, like a couple different shapes, that's it. And then you just kind of connect them all. Like I said, you know it's easy if I'm doing it. You want to get your white gel polish, get some on your brush, and first you want to start with a line across, okay? Wherever you want the bottom of the flames to be. We're going to start right here because that's where I, that's where my brush landed. Okay, next you're going to do a Y, like a little wine glass, kind of. So up and down, doesn't have to be perfect. 
little smile like that, okay? And you're going to obviously finish out the Y, but... So I typically don't do hand-drawn art just because, like, my hands shake and I'm just not good at it. Like, stick figures are a challenge for me. So, after you have your Y, what you're going to do is give it a little tail up here. And same thing on this side. Now we're going to go through and connect things, okay? You're going to fill up that wine glass a little bit. It's been a rough day. You don't have much left. Now we're going to do the same thing down here in all the corners. So you're just going to connect that corner. I thought this was really cool when I saw it because she was just like, boop, 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 boom, flames. I'm like, shut up. You're going to do the same thing on these corners. Just fill them in. Clearly not perfect, <laughs> but it's fire. Fire's not precise, right? I think. Okay, now you're gonna do some like matching lines that kind of go with that same curve. Same thing over here. And just kind of fill that in a little bit. Now we're going to do the same thing, fill it in so there aren't any straight lines. And then you can go back through and fix whatever. But I know that if I go through and try to fix anything, I'm just going to make it worse. So we're going to cure that. Okay, now that's done. So you want to start with your lightest color first. I'm going to use yellow. Make sure your brush is clean. And you're going to go across the top of those flames, like so, and just mush it down. And then you want to go a little bit darker. I'm going to use orange. Do whatever you want, whatever colors you want. Totally up to you, you know? And finish with this, like, reddish pink color. I like that. All right. Same thing. Dust it off. Top coat away, where'd my top coat go? Is that it? That's not it. Lord, if my head wasn't attached, I'm telling you. There it is, okay. Got it. Same thing, now we top coat. Because when we put that white on, I used a different white. This one did have a sticky layer, so that's what the pigment stuck to, and you know, the top coat wipes it off the black. Pretty cool, huh? And it does kind of look like flames, right? I mean, more than I've ever gotten out of anything else, so what ups? Oh, I'm gonna stick this over here for now. Definitely like this one better than this one. Okay. Now, let's do, these ones are pretty simple. Um, this one, you get that sticky layer, you take your brush. Um, so it's really easy to do ombre with with uh, with pigments, surprisingly, right? So you take your two ombre colors, whatever colors those may be. I want to use I want to use this like pink fire color, like this one. And you're basically just going to go up one side to the middle, roundabout, and it is messy very messy right to the middle and stop it's okay if you go a little bit over doesn't matter then you're gonna get your other color i'm gonna use like a hot pink look at this hot pink and you're just gonna go up the other side and then where they overlap it just kind of blends so super easy ombre do it any way you want up down sideways whatever and then for this one 
you're just gonna dab it all over and your top coat is what's gonna blend it for you. So we're gonna grab a little pink. I'm gonna grab some purple. Let's see, let's get a little blue. I think I want some green. I like this green a lot. Make sure you're wiping your brush in between colors and it does like stick to the brushes. So. Mm, what else, what else? Why is my green not sticking? It's just the green too, that's weird. All right, dust them off and then top coat. And that's it. And they're kind of cool, right? Now, when you go to put your top coat on, it's gonna blend all that together and give it like a watercolor effect. Like so. For whatever reason, I mean, clear, cause it's wet obviously, but same thing over here. It just kind of blends it all together. Neat, right? All right, so we're gonna cure those. Oh, our flames are done. Flames are done. Neat, right? Okay, so this last one. This one was hard for me, and it took me a bunch of different tries before I could get it right. It was driving me nuts. So, first things first, you're gonna lay down your pigments, right? Hang on, clean it off my brush. There we go. First things first, you wanna do whatever colors you wanna use. Um, I want some blues and some greens. A little more than that. Put it down in whatever pattern you want. It could be stripes, it could be circles, yada, yada. Up to you. Let's do a little yellow. And then I think I want that fire color again. I love that color. It's like pink, orange, red, something. Anyway. All right, now that we've got the color here, what we're gonna do next, other than wipe pigment off of ourselves because it's everywhere, you know, dust it off, of course. Looks like an Easter egg. <laughs> so you're gonna take your little thing. So what you can do here is either mix top coat, just a drop, and whatever color gel polish you used underneath, it should be the same as this. And you're gonna mix a drop of each, basically. It doesn't even have to be a whole drop. You can use top coat. I use the Builder Gel because one of the issues I kept having and I couldn't figure out why it looked so crappy was that the t it was, the, the mixture was bleeding on the nail so my lines weren't very you know, precise. But if you're gonna cure quickly, then you can mix it with top coat. I'm using this just because it's thicker, so it stays better for me because I take forever. So you just want a drop. Yeah, I know, it seems like a lot. If it'll come off. Ugh. Or actually, gem glue would work for this too. Then you take whichever color you use, just add a little bit because you want it to be kind of sheer, but still match, if that makes sense because you just want the pigment to show through a little bit. Like, see how this is a little bit sheer? You want it to show around the edges and just through just a tiny bit. So we are going to, to mix that up. You can use your liner brush or dotting tool or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Mix that up so you get that kind of sheer, so you get like a sheer paint. And if, if you're using Builder, you can always mix it with a little top coat to, to thin it out. I don't want it very thin because I talk too much and I take forever. Okay, so where's our liner brush? Let's grab that liner brush. And then you're gonna paint your design. Could be stripes, could be polka dots, whatever. I just did some crazy swirls because like I said, I'm not great at hand painting. Uh, let's see. And it's gonna be kind of thicker. You're gonna paint your design on, or you're gonna attempt it like me. 
And this stuff is all, the reason I chose the things that I did is because none of them are super precise, so you don't need a lot of artistic skill to work it out. <laughs> I'm getting a little carried away. I do have fun with this because, like I said, I've never been much of an artist or a hand painter, so finding something I can do, I kind of jump all over until I mess it up. But this is pretty cool. Like, even I was able to do it, so shh, anybody can do this. All right. That's enough for now. And literally, it can be anything. You just want it thick enough that after you cure it, when you wipe off that pigment, it's still there. All right, so we're going to cure that. And then you want your little, um, the lint-free wipes. Or, you know, whatever you wipe nails off with when you're done. And you wanna get your alcohol or liquid, not acetone. Um, I suggest alcohol, like alcohol pads would work great for this. Oof. Have stuff all over me. All right. My lamp is very fast. And then you wanna scrub all that pigment off, like all of it. And you gotta make sure you get in the creases like in between, down in between the little swirls and make sure you get it all off. And then you can top coat if you want. There we go. Pretty cool, right? And super easy. I mean, you can do way more design so you have more color, but that, and see how that pigment kind of shows through? Really cool. This one was fun for me. And it took me a couple tries and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get it. It was it was me like it was bleeding um so you want to use like a thicker polish with that one anyway so this is what we've accomplished tonight even i'm able to do it so i know you guys can do it too looks like a kindergarten crime scene but so what it was fun right all right if you guys have any questions <clears throat> hit me down in the comments and as always thanks for watching